Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 207. Now in our last tutorial we had started off creating the functions to load up our uh, body parts. I still haven't got around to finish saving off all of my body parts and organizing all the assets so I'm going to come back to that and for this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and start implementing uh, this class. So let's go in to our game. I've gone ahead and deleted my character. I'm in my tutorial scene. I'm just going to start there. And what I want to do is come down to my resources folder, uh, go into the character models, and take a look at the prefabs that I have set up there. So if we click on our muscular character, we'll notice that we have all well, the PC script that we've attached, uh, the animation component, which just holds all the animations for us. Uh, yep, still there, 76 of them. And our player script. I don't want the player script on here anymore. I'm actually just, I want to get rid of it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just actually go ahead and remove it. Actually, before I remove it, I want to make sure it's opened up in Unity or in Mono Develop. And since I'm actually getting rid of it out of my project, I'll keep it in the obsolete folder for the people that have purchased the script so they can follow along. I'm also going to comment out the line that adds it to the menu at the top up here. So when you show up, it might have to rebuild. Uh, we have the script right here, uh, but it should have rebuilt by now. So we'll go look again and it's still saving. Uh, let me actually open up a scene again. That's a lot of scripts. So I'm working on tutorial right now. And the reason why the scene isn't open in the last time where we left off the video it is, is if you notice the date, it's like three days later. Uh, I get interrupted at the beginning of the other one and I just didn't get a chance to finish it. But anyway, uh, let's take another look. Components. Uh, there we go, it's gone. So I do want to add the PC script automatically to it, and we want to get rid of this one. So I'm just going to remove it. That's going to create a lot of errors, but that's fine. Uh, in the next, uh, well, the rest of this video and probably the next one, we'll go through and just actually fix all those little errors. And they're just going to be reference errors because it's going to be looking for that script. And we're going to want to point it to this static instance of, well, this script we have here. Now, there's a few other things we want to fix up in our scripts. Uh, if we go into... Um, mono be or sorry, mono develop. Uh, let me see the player character. I think that's pretty much it that we have to do for that. Uh, let me see. We're going to want advanced movement, I believe it was. Uh, let me see. We'll just go into scripts, uh, advanced movement. We want to leave that because that required the player controller. And there was another one, I believe, player input. Let me just check here. Close some of these up. Uh, player input. Uh, we notice right here it's requiring the uh, component type of player character. We don't want that anymore either. So I'm just going to comment it out. Delete it in your file if you'd like. And I'm going to say it requires a PC now. That's our new script. So we'll go back. I'm going to close up my scripts. Just to save room here. Select my character and add all the scripts to it now. And of course, that just adds the rest of them. Uh, we should put in the animations. Uh, let me just look here. I believe mine's just called Walk. It might be Walk 1. I really do want to go through and rename these a little bit later on to be a little bit more descriptive. But for now, I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Walk one, run animation is run. My jump animation is jump. Idle animation is idle one for me. Uh, my swim animation is swim. Of course, I only have one swim animation. I'll have to make more later. Uh, what else do we have? We have strafe, which I believe was just called side. Yeah. My fall animations fall. Uh, and I'm going to leave the default parameters for now. Because uh, I set my defaults up to be what I wanted for my game. Uh, but that's done. I want to go ahead and put them in-game now. And see 
what needs to be adjusted. Uh, we'll shrink up this here. I'm going to have to play around with my character control, it looks like again, which is fine. Uh, I'm just going to adjust the height. Uh, it's probably going to be one since my character is too tall. So the height, uh, your Y should be half your height, generally. And that looks right. And I want to make it a little bit more narrow. So let's go to the radius. And I'm going to bring that in. I do want to encompass most of the body. And probably a little bit more for when they're moving, just so you don't get stuck in stuff or appear to be you know, half in, inside of a wall. Uh, but everything there looks good, at least for now. And player input, uh, there's nothing here we have to adjust. So I'm actually going to take it, reassign it to the prefab. I'll delete it out of my scene. Uh, I just want to take a look to make sure my character controller settings is saved here. They did. Actually, before I delete from my scene, let's see if it actually works. Yes, it does. Okay, well, the camera actually isn't where I want it to be. So let's get that fixed next. Now, I actually want to point out that if you have more than one character model, uh, you'll want to do the exact same thing for both of them. Uh, like I said, it's the exact same thing, so I'm not going to do it here. Uh, but I'm going to open up my camera script. And let me just take a look here at my player camera. It's the hack and slash uh, camera. And it's looking for a target. And the camera target name I have set to player. So what it's doing is uh, when it starts up, it looks for anything I have tagged as player, which is, you know, my muscular character. There should only be one. And it's just going to target it. So it's actually targeting on the center. I want to change that a bit. I'm going to open up my prefab here. I'm actually going to create an empty. Now, I might have done this actually during the camera when we were creating our camera script. Uh, but just in case I didn't, I'm going to cover it here. And I'm just going to call this camera target. And I'm going to zero it out. And then I'm going to move it up to... Oh, a little above his head. Basically, wherever you want the camera to look at when it's looking at your character. Uh, for me right now, I want it just above the head. And I'm going to switch its target to, um, let's see, none of these. I'm going to add a new tag. And I'm going to call this tag, well, camera target. All right. Uh, let me see. We'll select it again. And we'll select that tag. And let's select the camera again. And where it says camera tag name, I'm just going to put that tag in. Now, it's not the actual you know, name the game object. You can name it whatever you want. What you're looking at is the actual tag that you have. So let's try that. And there we go. He's looking a little bit higher. I might actually move it down a little bit lower, but you know, there's fine. You know, maybe you want to go with, uh, I think it was Crisis that had the, you know, over the shoulder camera where it was kind of, you know, you know, over here a little bit more, in which case you, you know, just move your camera target over a bit if you want. Uh, there you go. And you might want to move it up a little bit, but anyway, I'll let you play around with that. For me, I want it to be dead center for now. And make sure you reassign that. And you'll also want to add that also to the rest of your characters as well. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to remove uh, the script uh, player character from my project. And like I said, I will throw it in the obsolete folder uh, for the people that have purchased the scripts. Uh, but I want to take it out of my project just so I can find all the references to it. A little bit easier because they're going to show up as error messages. So let me just shrink this down. I'm going to come down. I guess it's under character scripts. I'm just going to copy it off because I do want to keep a backup of it. And I'm just going to delete it from my project. And we should start getting a ton of errors. Here we go. Actually, we only have three. Uh, but I bet as I start fixing them, more pop up. So let's save that off. And it looks like we're almost at 10 minutes already for this one. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just actually call this one done, and we'll start with the fixing of the errors in the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.